Dr. Keith. All right, welcome back. We've been talking with Johnny. Johnny's been in college for 13 years. No intention of graduating, well, just yet, as we said before. But please welcome now the authors of The Quarter Lifer's Companion. It's a book that focuses on this generation's inability, they say, the authors, to face the future. They are Abby Wilner and Kathy Stalker. So please welcome them. So you've uh, heard Johnny's story. Is yeah. he representative of a group of people who face these issues? I think this is probably an extreme case. It's, uh, why? It's only 13 <laughs> years. Surely there must be people in college longer. Well, there certainly is some apprehension. And I won't lie, there is reason to be worried. The transition to adulthood is not easy. And it's taking longer than ever today. The average person now goes through eight jobs before the age of 32. And that's why I think as great well, as... That's it, interesting. Yeah. So you're saying there's more to be afraid of. Legitimately, people of his age have more than ever to be afraid of. Well, there's so much more to explore now. There's so many options, and it takes longer to explore and longer to become an adult, which is why he needs to start now, because if he doesn't, he'll be at retirement age by the time, by the time he finally figures out what to do with his life. So this is a so, trend? How many people are in this, you know, vulnerable group, the quarter-lifers? Well, I think that we could all sympathize, because I think for many college students, it's it's disheartening to you know to get to the point where they're going to kick you out of school. Of course, college is wonderful, and one of the reasons we wrote Quarter Lifers Companion is because we knew that there were so many twenty-somethings who had legitimate fear, legitimate anxiety, and had a lot of questions about moving on. And no one gives you the toolbox. No one tells you how to become an adult or what the next step is. And so you can certainly sympathize. But on the other hand. Once you get through that period of exploration and those, maybe that tough year or two after college, it just gets better. There are more opportunities, more experiences. Well, it, it does get better, but to Johnny's you know, point, uh, most people do reflect back and say, oh, God, those years. And he's basically saying, yeah, those years for me, eventually I'll move on. But I'm going to be able to say those years for me were 15 years. They were fantastic. Is that about right? Definitely. And I, okay. I, think, <laughs> well, I finally got the point. <laughs> well, yeah. but, but sometimes, though, I think people think I'm doing the same thing every year, too. And that's not it. You know, within the last year, I, I studied in London. I studied in Paris, Amsterdam. I did some time in South Africa. Um, I was in Rome. And, and that's just doing my studying abroad, uh, abroad stuff. You know, even here in the States, I was active on campus, off campus. So it, every year, it's, it is something different. Question? Economically, I'd love to know how you pay for your living expenses. I mean, you say you go to London and Paris. Yeah, Who's well, putting the bill? Um, I did take student loans out early, but basically, you know, I'm a waiter. I work a lot of shifts. I'm a musician, so, I, you know, I sell a lot of CDs. Also, another thing that, you know, we've done in the last year that did cause a little controversy was, you know, we have this website, you know, which is johnnylechner.com, and it talks all about, you know, this whole adventure, all these years in college. Well, we have a place where people can donate, and some people do donate to the Could college fund. Could we pay fund. you to leave college? Yes. <laughs> I'm just wondering. I mean, I want to be helpful here. Enough money, I'm sure I would. Are you an only child? I, I did grow up as an only child. Why do you ask that? It just seems... That, that does come up sometimes. And oh, that's interesting. You were alone as a child. But I'll tell you, and here's how I think it all does relate. That's good. Who did you live you with? You want to be a co-host? <laughs> Who did you live with when you, your parents were divorced? I, I, I went back and forth between my two parents since it was my high school years, and you know, I, so I wouldn't be forced to choose. But I do know, because of that, growing up as an only child, I have always kind of reached out and had these friendships where it is like a family. You I know, know. We do our family dinners. I'll tell you, I think she's hit on something because when people leave, the family is ambivalent about it. Like <laughs> all your recruits, all your brothers and sisters. And she's like, I don't know why he won't call me his girlfriend. It's partly because she's also family. It's interesting. Like you want everyone to be very connected to you and never leave, maybe, although you're also supportive of Alex who has left. You're a complicated guy. Has anyone told you he, that? He has a lot. He shares a lot of love with a lot of people. I think that's one reason why he's worried about Thanks. committing to one one girl is because oftentimes a girlfriend will get kind of jealous of that devoted attention to other men, other females. They yeah, have. they do that. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We'll find out why they do that. Why do women want us to commit? If you would like to attend a free taping of the...
Okay, I want to thank all my guests for joining me today. Thank you, guys. Glad you were here. Today we met a 30-year-old man who has 300 credits in college and spent 13 years earning them and has no plans to graduate because why he loves it. Now, I have no problem with that love part. My concern for Johnny is maybe he'll look back 10 years from now and say, look, I could have had other things in life, like a promotion at a job or an anniversary or a baby, just for a few things to mention. So we'll follow along, because one thing we know about Johnny is he's got a good heart and a good sense of humor. He just doesn't have a diploma. We'll see you next time. <laughs>